Welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. So it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, or at least recorded one. And I believe last time I recorded one was uh, getting the Jeep running. And so it's just been uh, raining every weekend here. And uh, we've just had a lot of family activities and, and events happening. And so it just has not um, allowed for working on the Jeep. But I have worked here and there, just not really anything that was uh, worthy of recording. So uh, when we ran it, uh, we had three problems. One, uh, the generator, not sure if it's generating uh, like it should. Two, the starter was a bit iffy, uh, I guess, yeah. Uh, three, uh, the fuel line was leaking. And so um, with that, uh, I decided to tackle the fuel line leaking first and so I pulled it out and have been messing with the steel line and I'll kind of show you what's going on with it. Alright so here we are and this is a fuel line Woo -hoo -hoo. and uh, so this is a hard line and it has to go up and that flare there at the end has to made into the tank which is what's covered right there in the blue it doesn't made up just right it will leak and that's what I had uh, uh, the line was just not quite up there right I've tried a couple of times now to get it to work right and so this is going to be the last attempt I make uh, with using the line as it is um, if it doesn't work this time uh, we're gonna go to plan B or C or whatever plan number we are uh, but in the meantime, uh, I've also put some um, tank seal around that. Uh, there was just some, some places where uh, I just didn't like the way it looked. Uh, potential uh, like it might be cracking or something like that. So I did that. And uh, yeah, I'll show you some other modifications to the fuel system I've done since last time I talked to you. Alright, so one of the major changes I've done is I used to have a flex line sitting in here. And I went ahead and took that out and put a fuel filter in there. Not particularly real pretty the way it's set up. Remember, I, I had to put an extension here so it will miss my fuse spots when it uh, mounts on the fender. Um, I know that this is supposed to go straight into that. I get that. But uh, just a little modification there. I had a straight hose here. Changed that out for the fuel filter. That allowed me to free up uh, the steel line here. Uh, to use uh, com for coming out of the tank if I need to now I thought about putting the fuel filter straight out of the tank and while that would have worked uh, the one deciding factor for me not doing that was if I needed to change that fuel filter and I had gas in the tank without and I didn't have a cutoff switch uh, if I pulled that out it would just run gasoline out uh, onto the ground or whatever and I would lose it all and so where it is now on the pump side uh, I might lose some but it will be minimal loss versus straight out of a tank like that and so that was my deciding factor on uh, where I mounted mine uh, these Jeeps didn't come with fuel filters from the factory and so if you ever see one it's probably aftermarket in some way shape or form uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, with where I bought mine but uh, yeah there's plenty of them out there and you can choose where to put it where you want so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and put that fuel tank back in there put that hard line in there hook it up and uh, try to get some suction on the fuel line and see if it leaks if it does uh, we'll pull that fuel line back out again, uh, cut it off, and run a flex line instead. So, uh, let's see how this works out. So, what I'm going to start with first is I'm going to go ahead and put that steel line in and uh, on the creeper here underneath the Jeep. And then I'm going to put the fuel tank in after that and then get on the creeper again and try to mate it all up. Alright, so how I'm fishing this hard line through is... I start it from underneath and I feed the front end until it kind of hits the steering knuckle and then I'm going to try to feed it in 
through this hole right here and then bring it back around uh, to where it needs to be. All right, we're about to put the fuel tank in. Just a few tips though. Um, one, I put a little uh, dielectric grease there on the rubber grommet uh, to help put that fuel uh, spout through. And then two, we're gonna use the awkward dance uh, method which is what I call it, um, which is just kind of wiggling it in there to, to get it to uh, uh, seat in to where it needs to uh, uh, in the pan. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is take the gas cap off. Um, so we have done that. I also have a PTO hydraulic system in the middle of mine. Um, so I've also taken that pipe work off. And so this is the awkward dance part where you just kind of have to work at it to get it to fit in. And I do have gas in here right now on top of all that. So right now I'm just trying to get it to seat in to the boot. That grommet. There it goes. So I just pushed it into that boot to the grommet. And now I'm just putting it down. That's about where it needs to be. It's too far up though. So we're gonna push it back out of the boot a little bit. But it's it's pretty solid. So there you go. Alright, here we are up under there. And we got to get that line straight up into that fitting. Um, I have my line loose. It is not hooked up on the other side to give me room to move around. Um, and it appears like it seats real well, but I don't know. It just keeps leaking. And so... Um, we're just going to try to get this thing started and if it doesn't work we're going to try plan B um, I could cut this and try to reflare it with a different nut um, I have thought about that that's probably plan C. I don't know what plan that is C maybe um, but we'll see what we can do all right so we kind of got it on there hand tight and let me know and uh if you got a better way of doing this please leave it in the comments below um this has just really been a pain um i'm sure there's probably an easier way i just have not found it well i know a lot of people just run flex line all the way rather than these hard lines um uh and so that's probably the easier way but uh yeah, if you run these hard lines and you know a secret, let everybody know in the, in the comments below and I'll make sure to share that on a future video. All right, next thing on the docket is to hook uh, this line up right here. So again, I'm just gonna feed that in like that. And then tighten everything down. Unfortunately, you have to use um, just a regular 9 sixteenths on that. Um, flex line and of course the 7 16th flare on the hard line um, I would like to use flare on both but uh, just can't get it on there or at least I don't think I could last time I tried it so all right that's in there good 
All right, so we got it installed, and that's kind of what I wanted to get done today. I got some kiddos to get up from naps, and so I don't know if I'll get a chance to uh, test it or not. But uh, if not, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button, and it's time for supper.